the Young Zionist Leadership Conference because um, my, actually my camp director from Young Judea, he asked me to represent the camp and he asked me to come and learn what I could and bring it back and I thought it was a huge honor and like an amazing opportunity to just like explore more about Zionism and to meet other people from other youth movements which I have been so fortunate to be able to do. This is my first time at the conference, I'm very excited. Uh, looking forward to being able to meet uh, college students, young Jews from all across the states, networking, um, and especially as a young Jewish professional in the not-for-profit Jewish world, really being able to learn from those that are here and, and teach from the knowledge that I've gained during, during my job, helping people find the Israel experiences that are right for them, and helping them move forward you know, into this 21st century with a strong Jewish connection. So I'm here as a young professional. Um, and I am here both just to network and meet with students, but also to kind of reconnect to this idea of Zionism and the passion around Zionism and hopefully learn some things that I can take back to campus um, to work with my students so that they can connect to their passion for Israel as well. Often in New York, where I come from, we, we, we aren't given the opportunity first to express our Zionism. We don't have many platforms. Um, and also we don't have many spaces to engage in dialogue with people that have opposing opinions than we do um, to engage with other youth at all. Um, this is really the first time I felt like I've been given space to, to challenge my beliefs and to challenge the beliefs of people who, who also feel connected to Israel, who feel that Zionism is a huge part of their identity. We've been hanging out with Havarim Jor, Shomer Atzair, Bnei Akiva, USY, and it's just, it's amazing to be able to talk to all these other movements who essentially like, we're all rooted in the same dedication to Judaism and Zionism, it's just different ways of manifesting it, and I really didn't realize that. And so I think that's actually been my favorite part, is being able to hang out with these other movements and just see how similar we are and how much we can learn from each other and inspire each other in different ways. Where I come from on my campus, there's um, extreme polarization and it's it's been a problem for me and not understanding how to grapple with it and coming here and understanding that that there are other Zionist leaders who feel the same who who want to make that change who feel like it is their purpose on their campus and creating those partnerships um, and not feeling alone in that it was it was really really awesome to hear about how much Israel values what we do in the States because we've always like been talking about what we do for Israel, we have to do this for Israel, and it's, it's nice to get a little thanks and realize that all the effort we put into helping Israel and trying to defend Israel is appreciated and is recognized. And also, I've been able to get great material to bring back to my youth movement. Um, different perspectives, different opinions, different texts um, that we haven't been exposed to. Um, it's been really great to get a, that holistic experience to bring back. I'm really excited to go back to my camp and bring back everything I've learned, especially like the understanding that like our dedication to Israel is more important than ever and that youth movements have such a play such a crucial and pivotal role in influencing younger Jews to like care about Israel and want to defend Israel and visit Israel and be a part of like the entire Jewish family and the bigger picture. It's been an amazing experience and uh, again I'm just really appreciative that I could be a part of it.